Right, I'm going to go for a walk. Just watching where I'm going. I think I'm going to head into the woods a tiny little bit, north inwards, and then kind of like head back home. So you can go into the woods a little bit and then like turn around, loop around, and then make your way back to the main road. So in total I did four and a half miles going to Big House, turned my route off because I was going into Santander uh, to drop a check off. Uh, and then I did four and a half miles coming back. Uh, so yeah, it was um, relatively alright. And I'm now actually going to take the dogs out for not quite an hour. But I'm going to just take them out. Because my knee, well the bit of muscle above my knee, is quite sore. Uh, and my minutes are at 956. <sighs> Trying to keep your social distancing in Big House on the, and going on the canal and back was not doable. So to try keep your measuring distance or your measures between people on the canal was just, well, it was quite hard. And even in Big House, it was just packed. People were just queuing up. Like, there was a coffee shop, which was not really a necessary item, or well, not necessarily to be open. And it was just, there were people queuing. I was like, what? Like, do you not have coffee at home? Like, people queuing up for coffee. I'm like, do you not have that at home? Like, that's not an essential, is it? Uh, well, I filled in my little thing about as like, if I was able to go back to work or not. But the thing is, I'm not going to go back. Because they're going to have reduced staff. And they're going to want the staff that are good at that position in the drive through And let's face it, I'm not good at drive through not really. Whew. It's actually 3.47 now. My mum and my dad do want to go out tonight. That being said, they could probably go out at like between 7 and 8. Or, I don't know, even 8 o'clock onwards. I can't describe how packed it was in Big House. Honestly, it was just so packed. It was just like shocking what it was like. It was just like, whoa. So I'm going to head through the woods. Um, not going to go that way. Up there. I'm going to go up to like where, what do you call it? You go to the pathway and you get to the choice of doing the steep hill or not and then turn I'm gonna turn left there uh, and then I can head back to like Cherry Tree Drive area that sort of area and then make my way back down to Greetland don't want to do too much not really I mean, I wanted to go out, but I just did not want to do that much. Not really. So I haven't thought about it. And I can't do as much, really, as I thought I could. Uh, I'm going to get to this, this bit of hill. And then you can turn left. Which goes along that path. Up that way. I'm going to go along that way, back along. <sighs> not as fit. Well, it's not that I was as fit. But, having done so much walking in April and then last week in May, it just really takes its toll. So I'm on this path. That was the path I was just on. So walking this way. 
Oh no, I'm I'm not good. I'm not. No, not not in the fact of not feeling well. It's just I'm just very tired, man. I just normally I've got to that point where I'm like, oh, I feel like I've got loads of loads of energy, and I just haven't had it. Late, like as of like the next last few days. So I think honestly doing the shorter walks is helping to like get my exercise state best, better and then if we get to a point where I can just do more then I'll do more so the plan now is to go up this hill then what is it go where's it going it goes to the star pub and then kind of like head over the viaduct away in a way back over that way <sighs> then go back home oh I'm not feeling it <sighs> walking normally I'm like oh great yes I'll go out and do this and do that but my legs feel like jelly so I can walk which is kind of a good thing. I can kind of, I cannot walk properly though. So I'm on this bit now by Coronation Street. And that is what it's called. I'm pretty sure of it. It's not the Coronation Street you know by what's on the TV, but yeah. You know, hopefully tomorrow I feel like I've got more energy. Possibly. Phew. I'd like to think so. I felt quite winded today and just being like, oh Jesus, do I have to? Itchy nose, very itchy nose. Come on, dog, stop. Try to witch the try to witch. The dogs are pulling me forward. I can't see either. Oh god, that was a big drop. So to be fair, I'm at one and a half miles. Which is alright, so when I get home it'll be like just over two miles. You know, since Wednesday, um, people have not been as careful on the roads, on the pavements, uh, all over really. You know, when I was in Big House and the street where Santander is, it's a long street, it was just a heaving, absolutely heaving. And uh, a lot of people queuing up, of course. Uh, how many people was wearing a mask? Just me. People weren't bothered about keeping the distance. Not really. Uh, every shop actually was the same. People queuing and people not keeping to the distance. Plus there was a driver that tried cutting me and my dad up. I tried to just squeeze past. Which wasn't going to work. Like we was at Sainsbury's and by that roundabout. And I was following my dad and this red Mercedes with two middle-aged people in it tried to cut past me on the right and I could see what was going on so I turned to the right to do that so I did that and they were like trying to make out that, that we were the bad ones and nah I weren't buying it they were being bad drivers fair and square So then they stormed past me, and not my dad, and they tried cutting me up so that where the road was, uh, there was parked cars and there was lots of people on pavements, and where they were, so I was, like I was here, they was there, but they was ahead, they were like that, to try to stop me from riding. 
And I went, what the fuck are you doing? Because I wanted people on the pavements to hear what, I was, uh, what an idiot this driver was. And then they tried it with me dad. And then they pulled up and said, are you going to fucking apologise? I was like, no. No, I just went, no. Because you're trying to deliberately hit a cyclist off the road and you want me to apologise for that. No, that just makes me think then. No. If I deliberately go up to someone and stab them five, six times and say sorry, oh yeah, then I'm going to look thick, aren't I? And plus I'd get put in prison. You know, I thought to myself, we didn't get the reds of the car, um, because it was all quick and all this. Uh, we could have actually stopped and stopped to have a chat with him. But I wonder if I'll see him again. Right, time to go home. Yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.